Hello again, Commander Shepard. I owe you a debt of gratitude. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. I killed them because they deserve it. Now I'm placing you under arrest. Surely you don't think that necessary. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. These crimes are hardly worth your time. If you press the issue, my assistants are very well equipped to deal with you. This gang has a reputation for drugs and slaving. It's too late to change that. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps this organization has been so tainted by those two idiots that it cannot be redeemed. If I disband the gang, I walk away freely. I have not come so far to be arrested. I would die before going to prison. I would most certainly kill before going to prison. Now, do we have a deal? You're free to go. I don't ever want to see this gang again. If I do, 
You won't. I'm not so foolish as to break my word to a Spectre. Now, if you'll excuse me, my men become nervous in the presence of law enforcement agents. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. Got an active distress beacon on the planet below, Commander. No message, just a locator signal. lead the way.
Rescuers? Oh, thank God. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross, Chief Exogeny Researcher at this facility. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. I need to know what's going on. Why is this place crawling with Thorian creepers? How do you know about the Thorian? I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists, so I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. Why didn't you send a clear message asking for help? All we had was that signal from the emergency beacon. This is a closed communications base. Exogeny was worried about someone on the project selling secrets to a rival firm or reporting our work to the authorities. We have no direct communication with the outside, only the emergency beacon. It sends a general distress signal to the Exogeny site on Pharos. They're supposed to send a team to respond inside of 24 hours, but it sounds like they had problems of their own. Any chance some of the other people at the base might still be alive? Hmm, I doubt it. Too many creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the creepers and the Thorian back on Pharos. The Thorian was unlike any other life form we've ever studied. I can't explain how, but maybe when it died, it, it somehow set off the creepers here. I've heard all I need to. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? You were in charge of this project. The safety of the staff was your responsibility. They trusted you, and you betrayed that trust. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Normally, Exogeny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. The victims here deserve justice. I have to take you in. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open fire! Enemy is everywhere!
transformed.
contact. Thank <laughs> you. 